Okay. All right, there we go. As we let more folks come on in, y'all showing up tonight. Yeah, that's what's up. See? Yeah. Look, we, we, we got to show up because there's so much <laughs> stuff going on, Dr. It's v, so much going so on. Let me tell you. Stuff. I tell you, you can't keep up with it, Big B. So we are recording, and I want to welcome everyone to the family tree. And give yourselves a hand just for showing up this evening. How about that? Just give yourselves a Zoom hand clap. You know, we want to thank you for showing up. Uh, this is a holistic health show. So we talk about all that is good, all that is great, but all the things that we do here are holistic. We try to say we feed the body and the body corrects itself 11 yeah, times yeah. faster than you get sick. I think that's some good odds right there. Yeah, what y'all yeah, think buddy, about I, that? I know, that's right. <clears throat> Just know that God is in control and that all you have to do is the perfect system is already created inside of you. We have to start to now turn that on, stay healthy in a world going back. We need to be moving forward. Amen. All right. So I want to say tonight, um, we have a couple of things that we always run by. We say, hey, if you have a question or something, just raise your hand, go down to the area where it says reaction, throw your hand up, and we'll go right into the topic today. Okay. Or where you have a question specifically, if you are calling in, try to let us know who you are so that we can actually make sure that we get your question answered. Because I know you can't raise your hand when you have a phone call. Okay. So, uh, so Big, uh, B, Big B, we want to get started. Not yet. Not yet. We'll open it up. <clears throat> Big B, I want you to get started. Big B, let's give Big Bill Morgan a hand. He is my co-host and that's with right, the mostest. That's right, that's right. Loving it, loving Big it, loving B, it. Big B loving in it, the loving house. It, loving it, loving it. And Big B is going to uh, start us off and tell us what's going on in the world today, Big B. We got some crazy stuff going on with these COVID numbers and man. what is happening in India. It's you, going you, crazy. You don't, you don't even want to talk about it, man. They, they have a, they're about to, look, they're about to rub India off the map, man, with all this crazy stuff. You know what? Hey, guys, listen. If you haven't been paying attention to the news, please do so. There are there are family members in India, right? You gotta remember something. Look, they, they are people of color just like we are. We gotta look out for all of us. And so make it a matter of prayer for them because a whole lot of folk are just don't know what's going on. And they, they don't have the, the, the necessary machinery or the kind of things that are gonna be necessary to, to sort of help them get through this whole thing. But let me just give you the numbers as they stand right now as of 22 minutes ago, okay? Our total confirmed cases around the world now, 155,785,820, okay? Total critical cases, 110,275. Total deceased, total deceased, 3,254,000, 3,254,388, okay? And total active cases, 21,835,184. And total recovery, total recovery, I have to give my, my own little, little drum roll over here, okay? Here we go, guys. Total recovered, middle health time for us. Good middle health time. 133 million, guys. 937,996. Wow, yeah. that's, that's awesome, man. That's, that's, that's every, you know, I here, numbers see there. that again, Big B. So now you said that of the 155 million 800,000. What were you at? About 700,000? Because I got 800,000 on my well, On your side, it's probably, you probably yeah, more. Yeah, I just updated it. Okay. And just, free, that, just in a matter of, matter of, just a matter of minutes between us logging on. Right. Okay. See how fast this website updates, family? You got to go to this website. This is awesome. And the of number right now for total recovery 133,937,996. That is amazing. That, that, yes, that's, that's, that's totally amazing, amazing numbers. People need to know these numbers so that people can start to make the adjustments and say, you know what? I got to start doing something. I got to get up on my horse because you know what? Guess what? There's people getting past this. Remember what they said. They said that if, you know, and this was in all the magazines, whether the Lancet, the JAMA, or the uh, New England Journal of Medicine, all those medical journals. When, you know, when you go into the doctor's office, you see all of them, those medical journals laying on the table. Uh -huh, you know, know right. they, they, well, for, here's a heads up. <laughs> Don't let them be up to date because they're uh -huh. supposed to be in the back and the doctor's supposed to be reading them. They shouldn't be up to date in the front because that means they ain't reading them. <laughs> so, so you always want to have the old, old JAMA and New England Journal of Medicine, all those medical journals up there, if they are. 
But inside of there, they said that what? They said that less than 1%, less than 1% die from COVID-19 if you are staying on top of your health. You got me? So keep that in mind. That's your real numbers right there. So I want to say that to the family. Those numbers are real. Go to incove2019.live. Big B, thank you very much for those sure, numbers. Man. Always, always. You know, um, I do have something before we start taking questions. I do have something to say about <clears throat> this thing that's going on in India right now. What you see in India right now is, uh, you know, a lot of the spacing. You, have you ever, you ever seen anything that's going on about the transportation, how they get around? Everything yes, is very yes, congested, yes. very congested. So a lot of there's less social spacing there. And what about uh, a perfect condition or a perfect reason for variants to move in that environment is absolutely in a place where people are not social spacing. You got me? So what you see in India, don't be surprised. That is coming this way, y'all. That is the new variant. When people are getting vaccinated here and they're saying, oh, well, we're going to get a vaccine for 20, the 2019 vaccine. Yeah, you're getting 2019, but you better not get hit with 2021 because that's right. what's right, going yeah. on right. over there. Right. Got me? See, that's why the only thing you can bank on is what we talk about, which is your immune system. So build Indeed. your immune yes. system, family. Yes. So we're yes. going to talk yes. about all of those things today. But I want you to be prepared because there's some other things that are going on in the world right now because businesses are suffering. Yes. Now, here it is with the largest pandemic overseas now happening in India. Now, with potential to come this way, even though they stopped it, they have recorded uh the india version or variant in michigan did y'all hear about that wow okay they did detect it already here so if that's already in one of the number one atmospheres right now which is one of the worst ones right now michigan right now is a hot spot right now for uh -huh. for the united states do y'all know uh -huh. that right uh -huh. michigan is a hot spot so what happens when that stuff starts to variant and move you better be on your game. You got it? So right. if there's any second wave or third wave, this is the time when you have to start to, you know, sort of reset yourself, get your get your um, your herbs back in line, start to do the things you're doing, exercise, get your fresh air, all those things we talked about about a year ago. Mm -hmm. You got to start doing it again. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to start taking some questions already. Let's go into the chat here and see who we are looking at. Uh, Karam. You got the first one, my buddy. Karam, you there? Yes. Yes, yeah, I was just unmuting. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Dr. Paul. Good evening, Bill. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. All right, right to the point. Question. I um, have an Onyx disc. Mm. So between Shungite and Onyx, can you explain the difference? I got this from uh, Cancun on a vacation uh, two years ago. Mm -hmm. It was just wrapped up, and I just unwrapped it to ask yes. you about it. Okay, sure. Both are black, and both are grounding stones. Got it? The only difference is that Shungite is from... Uh, well, actually, Onyx is from here. Shungite is not from here. That means this planet. That's the correct so remember shungite is a meteorite and so what happens is it's very light that came that came from uh what's called shungia russia that was the meteorite that hit back in russia a long time ago so what happens is the difference between them both is that they are both grounding stones the difference between the two is that shungite is zero ohms zero ohms means that it anything and energy passes right through this thing Got it? So when you have it, like this is a Shungite bracelet I have on right here. So basically energy flows right through. It has zero ohms. Uh -huh. Whereas Onyx has a different thing. That's Onyx can be on the same line as like, um, you know, like uh, tourmaline, black tourmaline, black garnet. They're black stones, so they ground. So they take energy, throw it right to the ground. Boom. Both good, though. Very good. Matter of fact, I keep an onyx ring sometimes. I keep an onyx ring on my finger. So all of that's good. So you got it, you got around you. <laughs> yeah, and I also have onyx piece that I wear around my my neck. Yeah, that's why onyx has always been known as a protective stone. 
you know, if you ever had anyone say, oh, it's a, it's a stone for protection. That's because it takes energy. Boom. Drops it right down. No negative energy. That's the whole point. So that's the difference between the two. Good stuff, though, man. You got an Onyx disc? Where'd you get that Onyx disc from? From uh, your Onyx can, disc? From Cancun. Wow. What they, were, what they were saying over there draws negative energy out of you and whatnot. So I was that's correct. At my notes and thought about the Shungite, and I started looking it up, and I said, that's a question for Dr. Paul. Exactly. You remember, it, it draws, remember, this converts. It's a converter. You know, dark matter starts to convert. It's just like melanin. It actually converts, mm -hmm. and it flips it. So it basically takes anyone throwing negative energy to you, boom, either knock it out, or it actually flips it to good energy. Yeah, okay. that's right. So well, somebody I, get on your nerves, you can say, go ahead, get on my nerves, go ahead. <laughs> Just flip the stone on him. <laughs> flip the stone on him. <laughs> All right. Well, well thanks Fist for the up. answer. Appreciate it. Yes, right, absolutely. Man. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. Good question. Okay. Good question. All right. Uh, I have one there. Who else do I have there? And drop yourself off of there, Karam, and so that I can see you. I have the top of my list. I have Wendy there. Wendy? Yes, Wendy? Good evening, Dr. Paul, Mr. Bill. Good evening, everybody. Good, good evening, evening, Wendy. Good evening. How you doing there? I'm doing pretty good. I went and got my Fiji water because the crystal geyser wasn't working for me. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I, I got a couple of questions. I remember not too long ago when I first started coming on, you I think you had mentioned something about not drinking water after a certain time of the night. Yes, that's correct. Okay. What's because I, I I drink during that sometime I, my throat gets dry, I sip on water, so that's not good. Well, remember, it's it's your your number one thing you got to back up on is what is your total number of of your total number, which is the intake for the entire day. Got it. So that would be half the body weight in ounces. Got it. So half your body weight in ounces. Take that, split it in half. Whatever your body weight is, split it in half. That's your number for the entire day. Now divide that by 16.9, which is just take an example, one bottle. Okay. So, I mean, everyone, is that the size of your bottle or do you use a glass? I drink uh, the 16, I drink about five to six of those 16 ounce bottles of water. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so for example, 16, so you take half your weight, split it in half, then you divide it by 16.9, and then that will give you how many bottles you need per day. Now, your time for water always starts. Remember, there's a water cycle, which is based on circadian rhythm. You're trying not to go outside of that time because if you drink water outside of its cycle, it's going to mess with your circadian rhythm. And it's going to now mess with your sleep patterns. Got it? And that's when people say, I can't sleep, I can't sleep, I can't sleep. And that's dangerous because we need our sleep, y'all. Y'all, you, know, you need your sleep. Mm -hmm. So here's, here's the thing. Your water starts, and this doesn't mean you have to start at that time, but this is when the water starts. Starts at 4 a.m. all the way till 7 p.m. You got it? That's your cycle. So 4 a.m. all the way to 7 p.m., you got 15 hours to get your water in. You got it? So if you're not doing something over the top, unless like if you're doing heavy workout, that's something different, or you have a job that's just very intense where you burn up a lot of energy and you, t you need a lot of water, the average person can get in, their in that 15 hours, their average bottle for a day. Got it? Remember always, everybody, please remember, your bladder empties out every two to three hours. So whenever you have a bottle of water, you can expect two to three hours, you're going to eliminate. Mm -hmm. Got it? That's very important because if you have to go somewhere, you're going out or you're on the road or something, just understand every two to three hours, you're going to eliminate. Got it? Or you're going to have to go unless there's a, a serious situation where you may have a, a bladder infection or a urinary tract infection or something like that. Then that may accelerate that. Got me? 
So get that in. So after seven o'clock, your last real true elimination should be no later than what? 10 o'clock. Got it? So 10 o'clock. So right after 10 o'clock, you shouldn't, usually after seven o'clock, if you got your water in, you shouldn't be getting too thirsty after that. If not, you know, that's okay, you know, but every, just keep in mind, two to three hours, you're going to eliminate. See, the average person is drinking after seven o'clock. So after seven, if you now have water, nine, ten, you just now, you got to add another three hours after that. After every time you drink water, add another two to three hours. Yeah, so that's why people yeah, are going exactly. up saying, man, I'm not getting no sleep at all. At I'm all. waking up two or three hours. See, you're messing up that REM sleep. Your REM sleep is that deep sleep that you need. You need that sleep. And if you get into that REM sleep, that's random eye movement. That's what it stands for. That's the time when your eyes are moving like that. Your body's trying to shut all systems down. Mm -hmm. That means I'm trying to paralyze you. And that's why you can't even move. Anybody ever woke up and they felt paralyzed? They said, I was like, I can't move. It was like, oh, you know, he thought something was going on. No, you were just waking up a little early out of REM sleep, which means that you were in a paralysis mode where the body was doing all of its healing. Got mm -hmm. me? Ain't that wonderful? Body is awesome, y'all. So with that being the case, when you in that REM sleep, you're trying to ultimately get from the time you go to sleep, all, and you, it's dark, it should be by the time you wake up, it's light. That's it. Yes, yes, if you're yes. not getting that, that's a problem. That means you can't get into that deep repair. And that means if you have a chronic condition, you're continuously going to have that chronic condition until your body gets a chance to shut it all down. And some of y'all got the TV rolling, you know, and the TV looking at you. Mm-hmm. Some of y'all turn away from the Zoom. Y'all well, well, hey, uh, like this. You, you're not supposed to know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What's he talking get, about? Get, get out of my business. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Get out of my business. Get out of my business. Get out of my business. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my business. Y'all know TV be watching y'all. That's right. Mm -hmm. You got to shut it down. You got to shut it down. Turn off the TV. And also remember when you're in that deep REM sleep, hopefully you've got a little sun. Sunshine makes the difference. And sometimes when people yes, are yes, very yes. anxious, they're very upset. They're very have a little anxiety. Sometimes, you know, I don't know if y'all heard the show I did last week, but I talked about hugging the tree. Did y'all talk about hugging well, the tree last week? Yeah. I talked about, you know, you need to go into a park and get grounded again. Yep. You know, we talked about grounding, how grounding really happens. You got to go to a park or somewhere where there's some grass. You might have a backyard. Get in there and just put yourself in that grass and ground yourself. Reset yourself. So that helps. All right, Wendy. So hopefully that helps you. All right. And my last question. I went into the store to find the neem toothpaste. Mm -hmm. didn't have it with the buckthorn. Is this all right? That's all right. This yeah, is. that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have to have the buckthorn in it. Yeah, this, this neem is good. Neem is a miracle tree itself. Right. So the miracle tree is wonderful and it is good for gums. It's good for, you know, uh, resetting you know, when you start to talk about uh, what the neem does, the neem is antiparasitic, it's yes, antibacterial, yes, yes. antiviral, yes. antifungal. It does all that. That's why they call it the miracle tree. You mm -hmm. know, along with moringa, those are the two that we call the miracle trees that the Bible talks about in Revelations 22, where the trees are for the healing of the nations. So keep that in mind. All right, family? So, so hug a tree, hug a tree. So hug a tree. Be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Stay grounded. Sit on a root. <laughs> it all works. That's it, another it, one. It, you it can sit works. on a root too. If you sit on a root, that actually does well. You know the ancient philosophers, Bill, actually sat under trees. You yes, remember? Yes, they got I their greatest those. inspiration mm -hmm. under a tree. What uh -huh. was the one? What was the guy? What was the guy that knew? Was it Newton that sit under apple and then yes, he got hit in the, the head apple, with an apple? With tree. <laughs> yes, with apple. He didn't hit him hit in the head with an apple unless he was under the tree, right? <laughs> no, he, he so. knew something we didn't know. <laughs> that we should have right. known. That's right. That's right. Okay, let's see who else we have here. We got Kamara. What's up, Kamara? Yes, sir. Hello, everybody. Hi, All Kamara. right. This is a water question too. Um. So I know Fuji, Crystal Geyser, Fiji. those are mm -hmm. Fiji. Fiji. Yeah, mm -hmm. Fiji. <laughs> I want to go there. Uh, <laughs> Fiji, Geyser. 
I know the I know about them. You talk about them all the time. But when you can't find them, I wrote down some other brands um, from one of the high end stores that I wanted to run them by you to see if you uh, approved of them. Wakia, Penta, Alkaline 88, Eternal Artesian, Essence, and Icelandic. Okay, let's go down the line. So the first one was what again? W A I K E A. Yeah, that's the one from Hawaii. That's a good one. That's a bottle at the source. That's a volcanic. Okay. Yes, that's volcanic water. So that actually comes from, you remember we talked about the volcanoes, you know, the mountains, volcanoes. Those are deep well geysers, aquifers deep in the earth. So, yes, that is a good one. Mm -hmm. What is it again? Wakia. I, I pronounce it Wakia. Mm -hmm. spell, give them the spelling of how that's spelled. I literally wrote it off the bottle. W A I K E A. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Good. That's that Hawaii. That's from Hawaii. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Penta. No. Okay. No. Mm -mm. Penta. See, Penta used to be one water that was really pushed in a lot of the health. Um, yeah, arena. they're all in the health food yeah, stores. Yeah, they're all in the health stores. But you remember, their concept used to be this: that they would take. You know, they, they would get real scientific with it, you know, and <laughs> I hope there ain't no pent of water folks over here, but I've I got to bust your bottle on this one. They used to say, you know, we take and we have a special processing of technology when we take the molecule, the water, you know, and we shrink the molecule of water so that they can be absorbed slower into, you know, finer so they can get into the cell structure and all that. But guess what, y'all? It makes your acid. That's it. Mm. It's a re it's a refined and it's a distilled version. Anything goes back to the very universal principles. Mm. Purify, filter, reverse that. osmosis, distill. Those okay. are your four right there. Stay away from them. Got it? Okay. okay. Long as you can get a good spring water bottle at the source, that's what you want. Get it from the pure finds on the planet. Uh -huh. The pure finds are deep in the earth, untouched by air. So when they tap them, they tap them at the source. So when they do that, you got it. That's everything you need right there. That's God's water. That's why we call it God's water. You know, folks used to line up all out in Fairmont Park. Yep. Y'all remember that? Yep. Some of y'all yeah, used to sign cool. line up there, right? Line up out there with your jug sitting out there. That was the great networking. <laughs> I know that's right. How you doing? I ain't seen you since last week. Mm, yep. Got my bottles. Got all these bottles. And you go in there and what? Filling up. That's right. People were not drinking the, the water because they knew something was not right about this water. I don't mm -hmm. feel quite right when I drink mm. this water that's been tapped with some things like chlorine, fluoride. And you know that Philadelphia has the worst water outside of flint michigan do y'all remember amen 56 yeah. traces of pharmaceutical drugs alone found in the water in the delaware valley oh lord help us wow. oh lord help us mm -hmm. yeah so if so, you understand that that's where you gotta you know go ahead, go ahead. what's the next one is penta no, wonder, no. Mm -mm. okay so off of penta alkaline 88 mm -mm. that's the reverse osmosis Reverse osmosis. And, Remember, it's and only going to fall in one of those four categories, right? Go ahead. Yeah. What's the next um, one? Have you heard of Eternal Artesian? Yep, that's good. That's a bottle at the source. Eternal. Okay. All right. Um, Essene or Essence? Essence. Uh, you got to read what that's from. Do you know where? Did you did you pull that one up? That one's purified. Purified at. Ah. Big one. There you oh, go. Thank you. Is on and she's prophetess on. is on. And see, yes, the is. fingers, boy. I call it, I'm going to call it prophetess fingers. <laughs> I don't know what we do without her. I'll tell you. Way. And then there's Icelandic. Yes. Icelandic is good. That's from Iceland. Okay. You know where the volcano right. is going off right now in Iceland. You can go online mm -hmm. and see the actual volcano still erupting right now in Iceland. So that's a good water. Yes. Okay. Bottle at the source also. And the Purifying. one that you mentioned, you mentioned you talked to a sister last week, was it Glacia? And you said it's no good because it's purified? Which one? Oh. No, it's called Glac Icelandic Glacier is the name of it. It's called well, Icelandic no, Glacier. It's another one that's in a, in a bottle and it's red and black on the label. And I can't think of it right No, now. no, that's Essentia. Essentia. 
And yeah. you said that's no good. Bad, bad water. Yeah. So my that's daughter rever- water. that falls under reverse osmosis. Yeah. Okay. So now, she now, 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 let, let me let me out. help you with this. Now, let me let me explain. I gotta really explain the processes of why we say uh, reverse osmosis is bad. Okay, because they will charge the water and through an ionizer, which ionizers are not bad because we have ionizers that we recommend, which is ionizers at the tap. Got it? Mm -hmm. At the tap, which means that at the tap, you can get it at your water, and people are getting ionizers right in their homes. Some of the ones that are called Kangen waters Mm -hmm. are excellent waters. They're all excellent water systems. But they they, what they do is they charge the water with uh, platinum plates. So they use the charge, because remember, in order to charge something, it has to have something to bounce off of in order to generate. So when you send electrical charge through this, it actually hits the platinum, and then now charges the water. So mm-hmm. one side of the, the platinum plates charges positive, the other one charges negative. At the same time, they're filtering. Got it? So it's not bad. It's just that what they do with the ones like Essentia, they'll say we actually reverse osmosis and distill it, and then we put back in the minerals. Mm-hmm. But the minerals or electrolytes that they're talking about are actually not alkaline they're actually re- that's the cheap white salt that's the problem so that means a lot of the reverse osmosis is a form of distilling they put them back in there but it starts to lose the charge now so you never really want to buy ionized water you got it when, when stuff you'll see something like people like saying that they're selling ionized water unless they pretty much are knowing that In about three days, it's going to lose its charge. Now, you'll go to Whole Foods in those places, and they have the ionizer machine. Mm -hmm. And they're filling up five-gallon talent. But guess what? By the end of the third or fourth day, that water is losing its charge. It's constantly losing its energy. You got it? Mm -hmm. So it's not bad. It's just that if you get it, you have to have it with expectations that I'm going to use this within the next... 48 hours at least 48 hours mm-hmm. got it so uh, so that was where aaron brockovich said when they um looked at flint mission michigan before we were notified about it they went to aaron Brockovich about you know aaron brockovich right y'all know aaron brockovich right she remember she was the one that discovered all the oil spilling and she was the representative that was like she's a great humanitarian and fighting all the big corporations and things. And she found out, they went to her and said, can you take a look at this Flint, Michigan thing? And when they looked at it, they said, well, wait a minute. She says, wait a minute. If this is going on, y'all need to shut it down right now. And we need Mm -hmm. to put an ionizer at the tap. Yes, yes, yes. Which means that these children and these families that are in this vicinity that you have this, by the time they actually are able to prepare or fix these water areas, Y'all going to lose a whole generation of children because of toxicity and poisoning from heavy metals and toxins. Uh-huh. So the only way they were going to pay for this was what the government would come in there. But they didn't do it. They're not going to pay for something for these poor young folks, you know, and families in there. The travesty about the whole situation is that north of Flint, Michigan, is one of the largest finds of pure water on the planet. Lake Harris. Yes, yes. yes. That's crazy. Lake Heron, H-E-R-O-N. And that actually is one of the purest finds of water, but they choose to put this stuff called chloramines in the water to alter the water to the point where it's so toxic that even GM, which is right in that area, Flint, Michigan, right where the GM, you know, the the car dealers are, they Mm -hmm. said, we don't even want it because it's rusting our parts. (laughs) Uh, But keep it going, moving on down there to the you know, to the poll folks, you know, keep it going. You got me. So what does that mean? Ionizers at the tap are not bad. It's just that you have to get one. Like I said, at the tap, I have one at myself. We're distributors for that. But if you can get the difference between the two, I bounce between the ionizer and also the crystal geyser or any water that's bottled at the source. Y'all got me. That's the key. That's the key. Okay. Okay. And it, and it helps to put a pinch of um, Himalayan pink salt. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. That's the real electrolyte. 
if there were any electrolytes that I would say to add to water that would spark the energy in the water that would call real electrolytes, it would be Himalayan salt. The other one would be kelp, which is a sea vegetable. So if you can do kelp, kelp is excellent. Good questions, Kamara. You get a plus. That's some good stuff. I know. Stuff. That's right. That's right. Everybody. Hey, well, y'all made me go in different directions. That's a good question. Yeah, that's what's up. Because you Dr. make Paul. me think of something that's else. Because, you know, oh, 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 that's another point. Yeah. Because you got to see the whole picture. You got yes, me? Yes, yes. See, when you're living in a world where, you know, America is great melting pot for everything. But it's also the great melting pot for deception. You know, it's a lot of great stuff that we got. Right. You know, it's a benefit to live in America. Everybody wants to live here. But it also is a great place for deception and confusion and yeah. too much stuff that to the point it overwhelms you. So you're like, I don't know what to do. That's why so many people are on the fence right now with this vaccine. They're like, I don't yeah. know what to do. I don't know what to do. Well, you better find out something real quick because this thing is getting real deep, y'all only thing you can bank on is what god has already put inside of you I, I you, got, know, that's you right. got the keys in front in front of you right there all right family all right y'all like my y'all like my pyramids in the back i'm trying to go comedic like going y'all <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy, boy. <laughs> all right all right all right i got helen over there thank you kamara i appreciate you all right. How are you doing, Helen? Dr. Paul? Hey, Helen, how you doing? How you doing, Bill? All right, Helen. Great. How you doing, everyone? All right. Yes. It looks like you're having, uh, looks like you're going to Egypt there, uh, Dr. Paul. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> but I'm, I'm going back to Jesus Egypt. <laughs> you see me? I'm having a Jesus I'm going to not Egypt. Oh, well. I'm going to Kemet. I'm going to Kemet. <laughs> Y'all know what Kemet means, right, by the way. Y'all know what Kemet means? Y'all know what Kemet means? No. Kemet means Kemet means black. Mm. Ah. It means black. Mm. So if I'm saying if Kemet means black, which is the real ancient name for, you know, that before Egypt, Kemet, then if I study chemistry. Oh, shut the front door. Woo! Oh, what would boy. I be studying? Well, Woo! Well, you about to start something well, now. You're going to have me running around the room here, Dr. I'd be Paul. studying <laughs> blackness. blackness. Woo! Uh -oh, uh -oh. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let me stop. I don't want to go you, too now deep. You know that, I'm not going to tell you that deep. one now. Right. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> I'd be studying the study of blackness, baby. So that's that's what I'm studying. Go ahead, Kellen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got him all wound up there. Got me all wound up now. <laughs> to the point he didn't hear what I said. I said, I'm having a Jesus moment. You see, you're having a Jesus. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. That's right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Thank God. So, mm -hmm. anyway, I have some questions, um, Dr. Paul. Um, yes. My first question is in regards to acupuncture. Mm. Now, I want to know is it um, productive? Is it resourceful? I'm um, having these acupunctures, um, you know, on the body. They're sticking these pins in there to mm -hmm. extract the nerves. Is that really overall health this way or what, what do you say? Absolutely. Yes. There is a need for acupressure, acupuncture, acupressure. All are good. Got it. Acupuncture or acupressure. Same thing. The concept is that when you are, um, say when you're born, right? When you're born, you're born with uh, three trimesters, right? Three trimesters, right? And you're literally, you're opening. You ever see an embryo? Everybody's seen an embryo. But when mm -hmm. you unfold, you're like this. And mm -hmm. you unfold like a flower. First, second, third trimesters. So when you're down in cocoon like this in the fetal position like this and you're aligned here, you're connected in certain ways. You ever see, um, I'm echoing here. Somebody's echoing here. I'm echoing. I mean, let's mute everybody because this is an important point. I'm going to mute everybody. Okay. The point that I'm making is that when you are like a, you know, you ever see a yolk and an egg? Uh -huh. Okay. The, a yolk and an egg. They wanted to find out how this thing, and when you 
you, you know, you crack an egg and you open it up, right? And you see the nucleus of the egg and then you see the whites, right? So they wanted to find out how this thing actually works. So they actually cut it in half or cut it in pieces and they moved it all around in different places. When they put it together, put it back in place, the chicken came out backwards. Look out now. So that means that the chick was actually, those lines are actually like tic-tac-toe lines. They're mellow sight not lines that are connected. So you're connected by all of these things that are lined up based on how you develop when you unfold like a flower. You got mm -hmm. it? So when you unfold like a flower, those things are still connected. So that's why you can hit your hand up here in the top part of your arm and it affects you somewhere down here at the bottom. Oh, I know, you feel right. it down Ouch. here. You got yes. me? Yes. You just hit a point that was once connected, connected when you were down here, but now you just unfold it like a flower. You got me? Uh -huh. That's the basis for acupuncture and acupressure. You're still connected. And that when you want to touch somewhere on your wrist or somewhere and you can affect an organ, that's because one time they were together. You uh -huh. understand? Uh -huh. You understand? Very so as you unfold, that's the principles of acupressure. So when you are stressed out in a certain area in your liver or your kidney and you can touch up in here and it affects your, your liver, you just release the energy to help it start to heal. You got uh -huh. it. That's okay. the same thing with the concepts of Reiki, which is actually every part of your body. You can look part of the feet. I'll show y'all. Maybe I can pull up a Reiki chart or the feet where you can get a Reiki uh, therapy and actually release a lot of that energy right in your feet. And you can correct a lot of problems with your heart, your liver, your pancreas and everything just by massaging your feet. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. So that's the concept of acupuncture with the needles. They're trying to open up the meridians, which transfer from one part of your body to the other. Sometimes they get blocked because of bad energy, bad food, pollution, uh, bad energy with what you're thinking about, oh you know, God. negative people in your life, all mm. of that. So that's why you're trying to release that energy so that it can flow. You got it? That's the flow of chakras in your body. They call it chakras. You have heard of chakras, right? Chakras are just energy, which energy flows from one extreme to the other. Got it? So if it flows, you have primarily about seven primary chakras all the way to about 13 down to your toes. You got it? So when you're hitting those pressure points, you can actually release a lot of that energy so that it flows through the body. So that's the concept of acupuncture and acupressure. Now, does that help you? Yes, it does deal with pain, but sometimes pain can be other forms. It can be a structural issue from your spine. Uh, you have to know why you're getting acupressure or acupuncture and if it's going to be good for you. Okay. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Can you unmute yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. So my next question, and I have one more after that. This one is in regards to sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Is sunglasses harmful for the eyes? And if so, what type of shade should we um, wear all through the, you know, the sunlight hours? I, I do believe in taking the sunglasses off. Okay. Sometimes, you know, sometimes yeah, it, you may need a little shade, but really, you're trying to stimulate the melanin in the eye. Okay. So when you see someone with dark eyes, you're just looking at their pupil. Like if you look in the back of their eye, mm -hmm. the color of their eye is just the melanin in their eye. Remember melanin is the, what we call the transference. It's actually converting light into energy. Got it. And it's also like a filter. It's a filter. Ultimately, got it. It's a filter of light. So what it's doing is actually converting that light into energy to the pineal gland. Got me. Mm -hmm. So when you see someone with lighter eyes, it just means that they're at the point of birth. They did not have melanin present at the point of birth. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. 
Got it? That's what it is. So that means that they can't take a lot of dark or a lot of light. They don't have the melanin to synthesize it. Got me? So it's mm -hmm. almost like, uh, like you know, the regular, it's to... It's a it's a converter of light and energy. So when you have darker eyes, mm -hmm. that actually is the best benefit for you. OK, as opposed to light eyes, you don't have that much protection. That's why some people with lighter eyes, they have to wear those glasses. Got it. You may have seen someone that may be albino. Got it. They have light eyes. They got to wear the glasses because it's too bright. They don't have any protection. You understand? So that's why you would use that. I say get out and get a little sunlight, absorb a little of that light. You don't have to always open your eyes, but definitely let that hit your skin. Let it hit the back of the eyes a little bit. Never look directly at the sun, Yes. but look right. in the direction of the sun. You got it? So what, what are some glasses? Are the glasses safe? You know, any type of shades is safe? Or sure. safe? You, 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 got, you got glasses that are that are safe you know, because they block the different rays of light. But I'm saying that you need some of that rays of light because it stimulates your pineal gland to okay. activate. It's an activator for those with the melanin in the eye, as opposed to some with, with the lighter eyes. It may be hard for them to adjust to that. Right. But yet it is correct. It is good for the eyes. OK, but in the direction of the eye, never di looking directly at the eye. You got it? at okay. the sun. I'm sorry. At the sun. Okay. So the last thing is, um, I guess you already know that May 19th, um, New Jersey's opening, Connecticut and New York. So I just, based on that and early um, when you first um, started, um, more information as to what we should do as far as, you know, what's going on. I hear that say that, say that one more, say that one more time. I'm hearing that there's going to be another wave, and I'm hearing that they're going to be opening up New York and New Jersey. Oh, opening up. And yeah. Is yeah, this hearing. is – family, this is why I'm saying today, uh, this is not good. This yeah. is not good. I mean, if you fast forward last year when we were around this same point, you know, when we knew there was something going on in Europe at this time that wasn't even half the level of what's going on in, 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 uh, in India – we were we were over here like getting ready. We were like, oh man, it's coming, man, it's coming. They're not preparing people for the fact that there's a lot of Indian people here in America. <laughs> and how long this has been going, we don't know. We don't know how or what extreme this is. Even though they shut the borders down, you know, last week. But what came through before that, you know, we don't know. And they're already start seeing levels of that happening. So if there is a strain or variant of that already in Michigan and in the cup, I believe they bill. I think there may be, if you want to look that up and see if there's any other variants of India here in the United oh, I'll States, check. I believe there's one. They did announce it, I believe it two days ago. Uh huh. What's going to happen here if everything is wide open and they're looking like Memorial Day is on. You know, I can run outside, you know, I'm about to throw my, you know, move my mask off. It's on. I can do anything I want to. That is very concerning. They just want to send people back to work right now. They're so they're thinking about I'm and then they're cut talking off the about unemployment. They want to, you know, I guess they don't want to send stimulus money. I, I, believe, so yeah, I, yeah. I believe that what you're experiencing is a lot of financial pressure. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yes. financial pressure of those that are in you know turmoil with their industry the banking industry and those that are needing to get back to work you know you know you can only keep giving out stimulus packages for so long for so long that's so true okay ppp loans and all that stuff you can only keep doing but some point in 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 this in this journey, you got to be able to open the door so people can come in and start making a decent living again. It's just not happening. Now, here's what I think you got to be very, very aware of. With this now becoming a problem, somebody crackling paper, what's somebody cooking popcorn back there? What's up? Sorry. <laughs> somebody, okay, Kevin. Okay. All right. All right. What you got to really keep in mind is that at some point in time, it's going to start affecting the real estate industry because people can't pay their rent. 
you know, for when this is commercial now. I'm not talking yeah, about yeah. I'm not talking about personal. I'm talking about commercial. It's going to affect the commercial markets where people in these these malls and stuff where people are not going, they can't even get people to start working now. People are like saying, eh. you know, you got jobs opening everywhere and people saying, nah, it's all right. I'm you good. I got my stimulus. I think I'm going to wait another, another yeah. year. Yeah. I'm good. I can sit on this for a while. And people are sitting back because they're not sure what you're feeding people in the media is not happening. You told me if you got the shot, I'd be okay. Okay, if I got the shot, why can't I take off the mask? Mm -hmm. How come I can't go and live a regular life? You know, you're you're not telling people what they're expecting. And you remember I had that bill? I said that from the very beginning. Very beginning. A long very time beginning. ago, I said yes. you're sending the wrong, wrong message. Because you're telling people if you get the shot, you're good. Okay, if you're good, then why you got to still wear the mask? I know you that, can't right. you get if you can't still answer those questions that's what these restaurants are saying like wait a minute you told them once we get the mask i mean once you get the shot they can come in now what are you doing so that's what i believe this is happening this is them kind of like saying all right we did tell them that we got to start opening them up but let me tell you family this is the not the right time to be opening up right now not with this thing going on over in india they don't even know what this thing is and uh, the variant they're talking about is it's just unpredictable. It's the variant, which means that it's mutated. So it's stronger in every way than everything that we've ever seen. And if that thing did the tremendous jump on us last year, what is this yes, one going to yes, do? Yes, yes. So, again, you know, so Ball, that's you, why. You, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say the one thing that you you mentioned some time ago, and and still in, in the news media, no one is talking about building one's immunity. It's all the fear and all the yeah. other things that if you because they want you to take the shot, want you to take the shot. That's but right. as you as you just said a few moments ago, you know this is two night uh, twenty nineteen. What about 22? One to 2021, going into 2022, because we halfway that, in almost, that, halfway into exactly this right. year. That, that's oh, right. My goodness. That's right. What is going thank on? Thank you so, so much, Dr. Paul. Thank you so much, Helen. Good questions. Good stuff, family. So this is the things that you have to ponder. You know, don't get mad because we ask questions. If anybody asks mad because you ask questions, then you got a problem with them. You yes. got me? You should be able to ask these questions in any platform, in any form. Yes. You know, because it's real questions. You know, they say trust the science. Well, wait a minute. You told us to trust the science. We trust the science. You told us 1%, less than 1%, get the COVID vaccine. But now you tell us that it's better to get the vaccine than to not have it at all. And that's your better percentage. Wait a minute. Is that the better percentage? Well, that means I could have taken off the mask. See how much it's, it's all over Just the place. Confusing. It's too, com too much confusion. And you cannot bank on anything that when you put it in your bloodstream, you are now causing your know, body to now have to deal with something that is foreign. I don't know what this is. Ultimately, my question is, you know, if they really want to be humanitarians and helping out the world, then they would open up the patent for the there vaccines in yes. all of the countries in places like India. Why aren't they opening up the ability for them to do it? They have the resources. They have their own plants over there. Why aren't they doing that? Because it's about the money, y'all. Come on now. You got to look at that. All Dr. right. Dr. Paul, one more thing. I'm sorry. You know what they're saying, too? They're saying that the numbers have gone down since the people have gotten the vaccine. You think that's true? I don't think that's true at all. Or else the mask would have came off a long time ago. Yeah. Right. Right. Your mask would have came off a long time ago. You know, so... You know, they're not reporting a lot of stuff. And that's why you, you know, people are going to alternative media. That's why they're having a problem with the numbers of people actually showing up to the vaccines now. you know, they're exactly. not, they're closing exactly. a lot of them now. They're closing a lot of the distribution centers. And now they're talking about going into smaller, like little tent type things, as opposed to big, you know, stadiums and stuff. Cause people were just weren't like going out they're like, ah, that's all right. I'll wait. You know, <laughs> the people are just not doing it. Because uh, I believe that they are becoming, uh, they're looking at their own marketing. It's the way they marketed it, the whole concept, and that is coming back on it. So, yep. All right. Good questions, Alan. Good questions. All right. I have, uh, is that Colette? Colette? 
How you doing, Colette? Just unmute yourself. How's everybody? Good, Hello. good. Well, my um, question or concern is about this vaccine being mandated. I don't, I'm very, I, at this point, I'm not getting it. So my question is when they decide or can they mandate it? That's my question and concern. Can they mandate it for the country in terms of traveling, working, things like that? And is it legal for them to do it? And number three, I thought that some of this information came under the HIPAA law, you know, because you have people or concerns asking people, did you get the vaccine? Well, isn't that your personal business? That's the health issue. That is so correct. That's your personal. Yes, yeah, a lot of concerns with that. And uh, Colette, you bring a lot to, to the table when you say that. Because remember, anytime that you, um, this is a personal factor that everyone has. Some of them getting the echo, getting the echo again. Somebody Re echoing. Some of them mute yourself. Re mute yourself. Re mute, Dr. Paul. mute yourself. Collect, collect and un unmute. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah, there yeah. you go. Okay, so what's happening is, um, you know, uh, people are, you know, they, whether you can mandate, they're talking about mandating this as meaning that you have to have it. Now, when they mandate, right now, they've only approved it for emergency use only. Got it? That's why they can't officially say mandate and make people start at whatever their job and they say, you got to have the shot and you got to have the shot. Remember, as long as you have, even if it's mandated, you still have what's called strong religious conviction. Everybody write that down. Strong religious conviction. That means that you have the ability. Anybody here going to church? Anybody here going to church? Wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. You got strong religious conviction. That means that you believe that if I break the skin, that it in increases the chances for infection. That's what it's always been based off, strong religious conviction, and that you believe that the blood is the most holy and sanctified part of your, your, your temple, and that if you put anything in there, you're defiling your temple, your holy sanctuary. Y'all follow me? Okay, so that's where it is they're, they're going to have the, the sticking points because there's a lot of organizations that are around that will say, wait a minute, you know, we're the, there's a lot of anti-vaccination organizations that are around that are just not going to go for that. You're going to see more people declaring themselves, and you do have to declare your position as religious, you know, strong religious conviction. That's what the schools are doing. That's why when you see Rutgers and then they said all the universities and stuff are saying, um, you're going to have to have a shot. You have to shot. But if you declare your position and do and give them a document and say, hey, I do not want this because I'm saying that I believe in the Bible, that the Bible says don't put this in your body. And that if I do, it can cause infection. That's a strong religious conviction. You got it. But you have to declare your position. You have to give them a document. You got it. So that's what they're going to have to stand up for. And then that's going to have to be something that's really going to be have to push on the legal side. Because when people start doing that, you you have something to stand on. That's when people didn't take the vaccine for flu shots and things like that. They said, hey, when children went to school, you know, those that had strong religious conviction were exempt. The other exemption is what's called um, medical exemption. But then you would have to prove that you had a real allergic reaction or something. Some states say that you cannot even do a religious exemption. Now, that would be New York. That would be California. That would be uh, Mississippi and West Virginia. Those are the ones that are right now on market right now. Now, moving forward, if they do do that, that's when you're going to see it hit the world news. That's going to be a major issue. Because a lot of people are not going to go for that. Because literally, are you infringing on someone's religious rights? Now you're you're sort of, you know, you're infringing on their rights. That, hey, I have the right. This is my temple. I don't have to put something in the body that, that says. Because ultimately, 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 mm -hmm. if everybody gets vaccinated, 
then if I don't get a shot, I shouldn't be a problem. Uh oh. <laughs> All right now, there you go. Uh oh, uh oh. See, that's too much common sense. That's too much common sense. Won't he do much, it? Won't he do it? Right. That's, that's too I'm much common about. sense. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If everybody right. gets vaccinated, I know that's I right. That's what I say. Then, wait a minute. I shouldn't be a problem. That's right. <laughs> y'all all vaccinated, right? That's right. That's right. Wait a minute. That don't make no sense at all. That's right. That's right. Uh, but you have people that have, uh, drank the kool-aid and they're saying well you can't come over if you didn't get the vaccination what yeah, <laughs> you yeah but you yeah but you got you got other people that are laughing at this you know yes, it, it, ain't yes. just, it ain't just people of color it's people of all all, yes, all national all people are asking these questions like this doesn't make sense like i was looking at one block uh, one one line on blog right they were like, you know, in the Midwest, right? They had this stupid law that said that, uh, you know, you can be in the restaurant, but at 9.15, y'all got to get out of here. And they were like sitting there going like, what? Corona coming at 9.15? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly we, right. We got to run at 9.15. <laughs> coming there by bus. <laughs> they, were like, they were like, you right. know, they, they were sitting down drinking and stuff. They were like, hey, man. Finish your drink, man. We gotta get out of here by nine fifteen. Cause Corona coming, you know. <laughs> so it's very, it's very confusing. It's it's very much um, controlling. Uh, you just gotta stay on top of this, family. Stay on top of this. Stay on top of this. All right, <laughs> Doctor Paul. Just today on the news, the suburban area of Georgia, less than two percent of the folk in the in the suburbs have taken the vaccine. Yeah, see, the southern states, you're going to have a hard time. That Bible Belt, Jack, yes, sir, buddy. Tell you, they That's got that exactly Bible right. Belt on tight. They're not playing. They're not playing. <laughs> that right, Bible man. Belt is on tight right now, and they are not. Texas, North Carolina, South yes. Carolina, you know, all down there, they ain't trying to hear this. You know, they're trying to say, you know, you got to show me. So... Yes, uh, the, the, this is the things. Why this is why I say, family, don't get caught up in all of the, the craziness, because you can really get caught up in this thing and then lose your perspective. Yes, you have yes. to know where you are. Understand that your greatest resource is already inside of you. Take care of this temple. Build your immune system. Yes, you know, yes. fear mongering can cause more. Name problems. of the game. Name of the game. Got it. So stay on top of this. You're doing well. If you've already been, you know, I'm going to tell you, I get uh, the stories all the time. I get the success stories all the time. People are, I mean, I've never seen so many people, you know, doing so much better with their health. Yes. Big B, I yes. see people, you know, I had Reverend Halsley on. He actually is no longer diabetic. Yes. I was like, yes. wow, I had people coming in saying, I don't have to take, doctor told me I don't have to take the high blood pressure medicine no more. People are being freed because this pandemic has made people come together and say, you know what? I'm just going to get it together. I'm tired of messing around. And yes. they right. now yes. are doing yes. the things. Yes. And plus, with the ability for slowing out and cutting out the nonsense, they're staying home. Yes. I'm doing yes. what I got to do. I'm staying focused. And, and they're getting it done. Yes. And people yes. are getting it done. And that's what concerns me, that people are not saying the good stories that are coming out of this. Yeah, you got some people saying, yeah, they're drinking more and they're doing all this and they're getting fat and all that. But I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of success stories out here that are not getting the uh, the, the true due attention. Mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. All right. So thank you, Colette. Appreciate you. Good question. Good question. I got Laverne. Laverne. What's up, Laverne? And Big B, if you got anybody on the chat, also uh, of check course. out the I have a chat or someone's in the chat room. Let us know. Okay. Yeah. That was a question some time ago about Colorado silver. What okay. What? We'll come back to that. We'll Laverne, go ahead, that. Laverne. Yes, sir. Uh, good evening to you. Good evening. Uh, thank the Lord. Um, yesterday, well, yesterday I went to the dentist. I had a checkup and teeth and the doctor that I met there, they had some, another doctor that I had never met before, but uh, she said she'd been working X amount of years. And I asked the doctor about the fillings that you tell us to have removed. Mm -hmm. 
lead or the mercury fillings, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she looked in my, she examined me and they took x-rays and she said she don't see any problem. <laughs> Thank the Lord. I give the glory to God for that <laughs> with my mouth and my teeth. And she says, those fillings, the old fillings. Now, this is what she told me. Does not, have to, <clears throat> does not have to be taken out or removed unless they're leaking or they're cracked. Are they mercury? Yes, she says. And they don't put mercury in, in the fillings now anymore. They put, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Be careful. Be careful said. there. Be careful. When did you get them installed? Oh, God. Uh, I'll say over 20 years ago. Now, she said anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the key word was anymore. No. When you got yours in, she you got 20 years ago, they were putting mercury in there. Okay, so you got to be more on tune to what's yeah. going on. Maybe moving forward, that is correct. They're not putting mercury because mercury is a banned element. Yeah. You cannot put mercury in anything. That's why they took it out of the thermometers. They took it out of the blood pressure monsters. Yes. It's a banned yeah. element. It's a toxicity. It's a poison. Mm -hmm. Children used to play with mercury until they just, they just did not know. You got me? That'd so. But, well, she examined me and said... Uh, she didn't see any problem with them. Okay, you got not you're not listening to me, Laverne. Here's what I'm saying. Twenty years ago, when you got them installed, they were mercury. Okay, so she may be saying they're not leaking, but guess what? It's in your mouth. Every tooth in your mouth is connected to an organ in your body. So you're catching that ion, that mercury ion, and it's getting in your bloodstream. That messes up what's called the autonomic system. You're not supposed to have metal in your mouth, period. You got it? Yeah. So I understand what she's saying because that's what they look for as, you know, for yes, warnings yeah. for removing them. But I'm telling you long term, you yeah. need to get that out your mouth. You got it? You got to be careful because when you start to deal with metal in the body, the body doesn't recognize what that is. And that's only going to sit in your system. And it's going to ride into your nervous system, messes and pains what's called the myelin sheath. And it disrupts that sign, tremoring, shaking. Those are the things that you get in the autonomic system. That's why when people are getting this stuff removed, they have to go to a specialist. She probably won't even be able to remove it. Did she tell you she can remove it? No, she didn't. Right, because she can. You got to go to a specialist. That's how poisonous it is. Oh. So if she got at that point where they don't even want to remove it out of your mouth because it's poisonous, how can she sit there and tell you that it's okay to keep it in your mouth because it ain't leaking? <laughs> that don't make sense at all. You got me? So, so just I would get it. I would get there. the, I would go oh. to, this is what I would do. This is what I would help you with. I would go to what's called a biological dentist. Write that down. Biological dentist. Okay. A biological dentist is talking like we're talking right now. They're going to look at it and try to say, you know what? Yes, this stuff has to be removed. Why do you think people are removing it out of their mouth? For the very re reason that it is toxic. Whether leaking or not, you're sucking on that every, every second of the day that it's in there. You got it? Uh -huh. And it's absorbing into your bloodstream. So that's when we have heavy metal toxins. So not only will, would I recommend removing it, but you also need to do a heavy metal testing. Okay. okay? You need to do a heavy metal testing. Sir, can, can I have documentation, what you just said, so I can... Uh, no, all you got to do is look for a biological dentist. Go get a biological dentist. Okay. Okay? Call your insurance for your dentistry or whatever you have and say, who's the closest biological dentist? Okay. But they need to examine you. There's one that's called Dr. Grube. She's actually not move, uh, working right now because of the COVID. But you need somebody who that, that really needs to give you more information. All right. You got me? Because this is where I was saying that people just don't know. You don't know. And you're going to listen to whoever's in front of you. But you got to start doing some your own research. Got it? You got to start doing your research and start understanding. Does, does metal belong in the body? No. 
and it's going to be a foreign invader. So that means that everything in the body is going to go against that. And it's only going to cause disruption into the autonomic system. See, they don't look at the autonomic system like we look at it. We can look at it and see this damage. Autonomic system issues, that leads to things like Parkinson's, ALS, Lou Garrett's, multiple sclerosis. That's what that is. That's where it's damaged into that autonomic system. So just to be sure, go get another opinion. Got it? Dentist. All right. All right. Also, I would oil pull. In the meantime, oil pull. Oil pull. You know about oil pulling? No, sir. Okay, oil pulling. Bill, do I need to pull up a sign on oil pulling? I yes, think you do. You <laughs> do. Let me pull up an oil pulling. Let me do something real quick. I'm gonna do this for you. And for those that are listening, uh, okay, oil pulling is a concept of cleansing the body. It's a form of detox that you can use by taking simply a unrefined oil. In this case, we use what's called sesame oil. Got it? Sesame oil. And what you would do is you would take about one to two tablespoons of that. And just in the mouth, you would just squish. You got it? So you'd be squishing in the mouth. Just like if it was a like a mouthwash. Yes. Uh huh. Make sure it's unrefined though. It's got to be unrefined. Got it. All right. I'm gonna pull this up and share this with the family. You can also grab this on my website if you go right to Dr. Paul's. Um, let me see if I can pull this up. Three. Okay. Do you see this? Let me know when you see it. Yes, I see it. Go okay. Ahead. Here it yes. is. Right uh -huh. here. Oil pulling for detox dates back thousands of years. Practice of pulling was a popular Indian Ayurvedic treatment. Oil pulling is a process of swirling and pulling around in the mouth between the teeth. When done, the use, the oil is spit out and on rinse out of mouth with water. Got it? The purpose of oil pulling is to remove toxins, contaminants, and bacteria, infection, pus, from inside the mouth and in between the teeth. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to skip down here to say you just want to basically oil pull for maybe uh, two to three times. You can do it one to two to three times a day. Who's actually doing all that? <laughs> Somebody stop. Derek, come on, Derek. Uh, bring that off. Just erase it. Okay. If you go down to here, you can see some of the benefits of just doing this. As well, oil pulling treats the whole body. There have been improvement in such conditions and blood as blood disorders, kidney disease, woman hormonal troubles, leukemia, bronchitis, meningitis, arthritis, eczema, intestinal disease, periodontal issues, heart disease, diabetes, illness such as cancer, AIDS, and other long-term diseases. Do y'all see that? Yes. Okay. Mm, wow. Wow. So that's oil pulling. You can pull and download this right off my website, www.drpaulherbs.com, and you just go back to that. Got it? I, I just put the link in the, in the chat, Dr. Paul. Okay, got it, got it. So you see what I'm saying, family? Got it? You, you got to do things that are natural and organic. Now, sesame oil, there are other oils, but sesame oil has this thing. We call her the queen of the oils. The queen of the oils, because she has ability to actually bind to a lot of that toxins, kills staph and streptococcus bacteria on contact. You got it? Very powerful. But at the same time, when you're squishing, that makes sure it's unrefined. No refined. Got it? No refined. It has to be unrefined. The minerals start to move and start to salivary glands are right in the back of your jaw starts to now create a pulling action. That's why they call it oil pulling, because the magnetism from the minerals starts to pull. Now pulls toxins from your bone, joints, ligaments, connected wow. tissue, bloodstream, everything into your mouth. Right, you got okay. me? There we go. Then when you do, you spit that out. I say spit it in like a, get yourself like a, a mason jar or something, spit it in there. Because if you put that in your toilet, it is so strong, it'll black your toilet up. You got me? That's how strong it is. Wow. Put it in the jar, spit it in the jar, put it in some grass, out in the grass somewhere. There we got go. it? 
That's how you do it. And you can do that two to three times a day if you want to. Some people are oil pulling, you know, three, four times a day. Some people are doing like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, up to 45 minutes. You'd be surprised what people are doing with oil pulling. Even mm -hmm. dentists are telling people to do this. Some people are saying, well, you know, dentists, I had some people come in and dentists told them, hey, you know, you we can give you a root canal today or you can go oil pull and then come back in three months and see what happens. They come back in three months. No need for a root canal. Right. Got mm -hmm. me. Regenerates all of the nerves. It cleans. Wow. It also deals with periodontal issues. It deals with gingivitis. It deals with also, if anything, y'all do it for y'all gonna do it because of this one because it make your teeth white. I know, <laughs> make your teeth white. Y'all said, well, you should have started right there, Doc. I would have stopped right there. That was it. <laughs> it make your teeth white. So if it make your teeth white, brings back the pearl. Yes, you know, yes, and yes. also deals with issues when people are stripping their teeth, they're pulling the enamel off the teeth. See, when you start to 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 take toothpaste and you start to use things like fluoride, fluoride is actually it tells you on the back that it's a poison. poison. It says if you swallow more than the toothpaste size of this toothpaste, call the poison control board. It's a poison. Got it? But also they'll say, well, now I'm gonna put a bleaching action in there i'm gonna put bleach in there because mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. when you're doing this after you're losing fluoride your, your teeth start turning brown you say man why are my teeth turning brown you smiling and all your pictures look like you just had a uh, you well know, your teeth turning brown. <laughs> i'm sorry y'all but the teeth turning brown they say what's wrong with your teeth <laughs> your teeth turning brown well that's what's called <laughs> You know what they call, you know what, you know what, they call it fluorosis. You know what fluorosis is? Mm. Anybody know what fluorosis is? No. No. That's called fluorosis. When your teeth turn brown and you like saying, dang on it, I can't get them white no more. They brown. That's fluorosis. You know what fluorosis is? Too much fluoride. <laughs> That's what it is. It turns your teeth brown. So now they say, well, wait a minute. Well, I'm going to have to, maybe you should bleach them because that'll bring it back. <laughs> so well. now they give you another toothpaste and now you start scrubbing now and now that's bleaching. And when you bleach, it's going to pull the enamel off. Now the enamel is the most important part of your protection or your teeth. Amen. So now you pull the enamel off. Now, every time you say, oh man, my teeth are getting whiter, but man, Oh, I can't have nothing hot or cold. Ooh, ooh. Sensitive, <laughs> you know? sensitive teeth. Sensitive, sensitive teeth now. Oh, well, we're good. Wait a minute. We got something else for you. I got a yeah. sensodyne. <laughs> so right, I right. just took you through three different toothpastes, right? Uh -huh. Stemming from the fluoride one, which brought you to the what? The bleaching. And then from uh -huh. the bleaching to the what? To now the sensodyne. You got me? Stay away from the, from those tea paste. Non fluoride is what we say. Oil pull, and you can get a lot of that back. You got it. You can get a lot of it back. It regenerates enamel again. Starts to make the teeth gives that pearl look. That's why they call them the pearly whites. They don't say white. They say pearly whites. Pearly whites. Right, right. Pearly right. whites. Right. Pearly, pearly All right. White. Pearl has a different color than white. <laughs> Y'all know, y'all ever seen a, a pearl Cadillac go by, and you know a difference between a pearl one and a white one, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say, girl, that ain't white, that's pearl. <laughs> you got it? All right. All right. So. Thank you. Okay, thank All you, right. Laverne. Good question, right. Laverne. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Good luck with that. All right. I won't tell, I won't tell you what she told me. Yeah, well, like I said, you got to watch who you're talking to nowadays. Get you in trouble. You got to have something to bounce off of. That's what I'm saying. But you got to have a good resource also. You got to me. You understand? See, when people are talking like this, they got to, they're not looking at the whole anatomy. That's why when we look at holistic health, how is this affecting you holistically? It may be a temporary fix. But holistically, it's not good for the entire body. You got it? Thank you. Doctor. There you go. There you go. All right. Thank you so much. All right. I got Yolanda on the line. Yolanda? Hey, Yolanda. Hi, Dr. Paul. How you doing? 
I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Okay, so my question, and you may have answered it because you said something that kind of stood out to me. But I wanted to know what did you think about what do you think about bioidentical hormone replacement therapy? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> You, you said a couple of words that disturbed me already. <laughs> I, I, oh, oh, oh. Wait, I wait, felt wait like she minute. was hitting me with, with some punches. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's what I felt like. Oh, my goodness. Replacement? That means you took something out. Wait a minute. So, 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 so wait a minute. So, supposedly, this is, this is, this is what it says. <laughs> um, because, because of hormone imbalances, um, and this is what got me because I'm always <laughs> testing pre-diabetic and I don't want to become diabetic. Gotcha. So, so it says that it can, um, because of the low levels of testosterone can, can increase the risk of diseases like diabetes, stroke and heart disease. And so the low levels and all of this can do blah, 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 blah. But that was, that's what stood out for me. That's why I was wondering about it. So. Okay. All right. So let's go back to great balancer of hormones is your endocrine system. Got it. Endocrine or endocrine system. Got it. That's your. Yeah balancer that's the one that generates all the energy we talked about the chakra system earlier in the day they don't call it the chakra system but that's usually what it is the endocrine system is your energy that spins through the body so you got the pineal the pituitary hypothalamus all the way down to the thyroid the parathyroid all the way down to the adrenal glands the pancreas all the way down to the sex organs that's your endocrine system that's what deals with your hormones got it mm -hmm. right so you really have to ask the million dollar question, what is causing the, the hormone imbalance? Usually it's the genetic modifications of the food, the industrialization of the foods, dehydration, malnutrition, all of those things that affect three things, weight, temperature, and pressure. Break that down. Rate, temperature, pressure. temperature and pressure. Mm -hmm. That's what you talk about hormones. So how do you determine that? They usually give you what's called a DEXA test. You know, everyone's saying that the thyroid is out of balance. Yeah, the thyroid is out of balance, but I'm going to give you the big of the different. Something is firing off the thyroid to make the thyroid out of balance. And in most cases, they're telling you, oh, the thyroid's out of balance. The thyroid's out of balance. Yes. Yes, it is. But guess what throws the, the, the thyroid out of balance? The adrenal glands. The adrenals are firing off and kicking that. Your, mm -hmm. your thyroid is like the, the car, the gear shift in your car, right? Like when you give me a car, you got, you know, you know, you got park, you got drive, you got, you know, reverse, got it. That's mm -hmm. your endocrine system. That's meaning that when you need energy, you got it. When you pull it back, you know, you reverse on it. You got that. You got it. So that's like you on the expressway and you flying. You flying on it, you, 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 you might be on the expressway. And then somebody hit that gear. And then they see you know you either going slow, too slow, or too fast. Hyper, hypo, thyroidism. That's okay. what's happening. You got me? It's either yes. firing off too fast or too slow. And some that's mean you're polling. Some even call it bipolling. Because if bipolar means that you're moving from positive poles, poles can only be positive charge and negative charge, right. male principle, female principle. Got it? So that's where there's an imbalance of poles means there's an imbalance usually with based on what you're eating, what you're drinking, what you're exposed to. Something's out of balance. And ultimately, when these things are out of balance, that's what dis-ease is. It's ease is balance. Dis-ease means imbalance. So my, my response to that is that we would use things like trace minerals. Trace minerals specifically, not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent any disease, just food for the soul, y'all. All right. It would be something like out of the ocean. Got it? Now... Mm -hmm give you a hint because whenever there is like a nuclear power plant y'all know that one up the hill called uh limerick power plant up this yes, mm -hmm. okay if you will live in a radius of about five to ten miles 
they mandatorily have to give out these pills. Okay, anybody live around that area, you probably know what I'm talking about. They give you these, these literally these, these type of kelp pills or potassium chloride pills to actually help you so that it blocks radiation because they know that exposure to radiation messes the thyroid up. Hyper hypothyroidism, highest rate of cancers are in those areas where the nuclear power plants, all those things. So there's a myriad of things that you got to look at before you even get to some kind of treatment like that. Yes, I would yes. not do anything unless I can do it naturally, which means usually you start to do things like uh, sea vegetables, kelp, chlorella. Chlorella, C H L O R E L L A. Chlorella is an excellent one. Uh, spirulina, you got to look at bladder rack. Nori, dulse, any of the dulse colors, whether brown, red, or purple. Got it? Those are excellent. You know, any of those that deal with sea vegetables. And of course, kelp is like usually the one, number one. That's what your body's missing. It's missing trace minerals to balance out. But that but that adrenals are firing off, y'all. I'm gonna try to tell you that thyroid is out of balance because it's the stress. People are stressed out. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what it is. Usually you ask me, you know, because remember when 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 a lot of women have the issues with um thyroid, also it affects weight, temperature, pressure. So that means hair gets real thin, hair starts to get you know, split ends, even patchiness, very thin. Also, the neck area. I always tell everyone to look for every woman in your life. Look for the double lines. Top line, bottom line. Comes just like this. And in the middle, it's real thick. Thyroid issue. Mm. Thyroid issue. Okay. Also, uh, you got to look at weight going up and down sporadically. It is temperature going to hot room. You cold going to cold room. You hot. You got it. Also pressure tingling in the fingertips. Sometimes feet get numb. That's yeah. mineral deficiencies. Things like that. Oh, wow. You know, sometimes you got to shake your hands. Wake up mm, numb feet. Numb feet. cold. Yes. Oh, wow. Chills all the time. You know, yeah. always cold. Yes. Thyroid. Okay. Thyroid. okay. So we treat it naturally. We don't go that route. You know, they, they try to make their money. I understand. That's their hustle. That's what they do. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying to you, stick on the guy program. You know, get with the things that your body's really asking for. And it will correct itself 11 times faster than you get sick. That's what we say. You got it? Okay. Good got question, it. though, Yolanda. Good stuff. You just helped out <laughs> a lot of sisters and brothers, too. You know, you helped out a lot of folks. Mm -hmm. I have one more question. What do you think about cool sculpting? Have you heard of it? Cool sculpting? Yes, cool sculpting. Yes. Okay, explain cool sculpting. Maybe I have. I just maybe call it something different. Okay, so they have this procedure that um, it freezes um, your fat. In different <laughs> oh no, stop right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't want to hear nothing else. I did. I'd be like, okay, I'll see y'all later. <laughs> don't go no further. All right, we're going to freeze your fat. All right, all right, we're the door. I'm out. <laughs> no, I can't do it. I'm sorry. See, it's still stopping people from getting away from, you know, universal principles of balance. You got to exercise. You know, it's always looking for the quick out. You know, there's nothing better than doing the exercise that your body really needs to do. That's it. Something else is out of balance. So now you cool scope, you do all this stuff, just like the... You know the the uh, the lap surgery. You know all yes, that stuff yes, going on, band. and then next thing you know, three months later, you back in the same spot you are before. Yes, I mean, sir. So uh, right. got Girl, the surgery. No discipline. Back and they bigger than they was the last time. Amen. Okay. Amen. Nothing changed because it's changing up here. Got me? 
You got to okay. change up here, your mindset. Transformation happens with the renewing of your mind. Ain't that what the Bible said, y'all? Can I get an amen? Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Know, right. <laughs> amen, amen. <laughs> you got me? So don't get into things like that because they spawn bad habits and they give people false hope. You need to start to dig down and tell the person the real truth of the matter. Everybody know if you come in there with me, I'm going to tell you what's up. You know, I, I tell you with tough love. I it's said, okay. come on, sis. Come on, bro. That's what I want. Y'all know when y'all get in there, I tell y'all with a lot of love. Be patting you on the back as you leave. <laughs> I, know that, I know that's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The best, the best It'll thing. It'll be all right. Family. Just get it moved. The best thing for the family. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> so, so we do, if you care about somebody, you tell them the truth. Yes. You got me? Yes. If you love your child, you will fight for your child. If you love your people, you will fight for your people. You tell them the truth, not what they want to hear all the time. Remember, some of the greatest sculptures happen with what? You know, you can't make a fine piece of art or sculpture unless you got that sandpaper, right? Uh oh. Got it? Because if it's rough, ouch. You need some of that sandpaper to what? To hone it down. Thin it on down. That's right. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it right. I'll get it. I got an echo on somebody. But uh, that's mute, what mute you want to do. Guys. Mute your mic. So you got to use sometimes. You know, sometimes you're gonna have a sand per pace. You have a sandpaper personality that's around you, but that person makes you stronger. And then that means that that person makes you say, you know what? You get on my nerves, but you know, you're all right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know y'all remember, uh, y'all remember, um, you remember what was the, uh, lean on me. Y'all remember yes. lean on mm -hmm. me sure. when, uh, Yo. uh, was it, uh, Gillian and, uh, and, um, what's his name was in there fighting. Y'all remember? You remember Lord Morgan Freeman? They was in there fighting, and it was like, yeah. "Look, man!" And then Morgan said, "Look, I'm the H N L I C L head." And that, that's it. He told him off, and they look at him. He said, "You think you bad, don't you?" He said, "All right, let's go to lunch." <laughs> 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 because that's really tough love. Y'all understand? That's tough love. So that's why Yolanda, I tell people the truth, and I think you know people need to know the truth. If it leans to bad habits, getting you away from doing what you really need to do, which is exercise and watch your diet and things like that, and just stay away from certain things that are toxic, that creates a bad and, and false hope for somebody. And then they end up worse than they ever were. That's my opinion. That's my take. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Lada. Appreciate you. Good stuff, y'all. Y'all start. Y'all about to start a fight up in here, y'all. <laughs> that, that, that's all right, Doctor Paul. A little fight. About to give me fighting up in here. Mm -hmm. What time fight. is it? It is quarter two. It is not quarter to nine. Oh, y'all. I tell you, y'all had some good questions tonight. I tell you, I got. Uh, I'm going to take one more question. I'm going to take one more question. I'm going to take a question on the phone line. Okay, Big B. We're going to take a phone. Couple of, I'm going to take two phone line questions because I didn't get a chance. So if anyone is on the phone and you want to ask a question. Okay, who is that? Me, Michelle. Me, that's Michelle. Michelle, where are you? Okay, right Mich Michelle, I hear you, Michelle. Let me just grab somebody. I've been trying to get on the phone because they don't have ability to even raise their hand. Okay? Can okay. I get somebody on there? And I'll come back to you, Okay. Is there, well, first of all, is there anyone that has a question that's on the phone? Big B, you got anybody? I don't see anything. My question. Okay, who is that? Curtis. Oh, that's. Okay, who is that? Was that, did they say Curtis? Yeah. Okay, Curtis, go ahead. We can see you, okay. you, you're going, you're going in and out, but go ahead. Yeah, I'll make it real quick. I had two knee replacements. You said some about metal in the body, so I guess all bullet would be better for me then. Yeah, you're breaking up real bad, Curtis. You're breaking up real bad on your phone. I said uh, I had two knee replacements, and I guess oil pulling will help me. He's, yeah. got, he's got two knee replacements. He had two like knee replacements. He, says he thinks oil pulling is probably best for him. Well, I think he... What was the point about the oil pulling connected to the knees? I didn't quite get that one. 
Uh, you would say metal. Your body is metal. In, in, uh, uh, when metal. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, anything, uh, when you have metal in the body, see, knee replaces a whole nother thing. Um, still, yes, you, you can start to do oil pulling, but also uh, sea vegetables, you remember? Sea vegetables, also, what else pulls out uh, heavy metal out of the body? Not to diagnose, treat, kill, prevent disease, just food for right. the soul. That would be things like glutathione. Glutathione. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I got one right here. So y'all see that? Right there. Huh. Can y'all see that? Y'all no. can. Yeah, you can. You're right. No. You're, it's not yeah, close, no. but you can see it in your hand. You can't tell what it is, Dr. Paul. Yeah, we see, we see something in there. Right. It's reflecting. Right. Because, because there it is right there. there. See yeah, right there? there go. Got it? It's glutathione. G L U T A T H I O N E. Glutathione. Now, again, glut please. yeah, glutathione. G L U. T is in Tom. A T H I O N E. Glutathione. Also, How many milligrams? Um, just take as recommended. Okay, you can usually find them in like a hundred milligrams at a time, things like that. Just take as recommended. Um, usually, glutathione is naturally made by the body. Okay. The body may normally makes glutathione, but if you have high testosterone levels, you don't make a lot of glutathione. So women, you make more because your estrogen produces more so than anything. But if you have high testosterone also, you don't make a lot of glutathione. So that's why when we try to say what, uh, what pulls poison, chemicals, metals, all that stuff out of your body is glutathione. Got it? Now, glutathione also is raised when you start to do things like sea vegetables. That's why we're talking about, you know, the kelp, the chlorella, spirulina, all that other, the dulse, bladder rack. So if you start to do that, that raises your glutathione. But you can also, at the same time, buy glutathione. Got it? Got it? Go. So that's one. Now, if you can't get glutathione, then the other one that we use is called alpha lipoic acid. Alpha lipoic, L I P O I C, acid. Alpha lipoic acid actually converts to glutathione, it helps to raise the glutathione. Also, another very critical in removing heavy metals, toxins, things like that, sludge out of the system. Got it? All right, so those are the things that we would use for that. Uh, just do the best you can there, Curtis, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Big B, I'm going to take, uh, let's see. I got Michelle. Michelle, go ahead, Michelle. Yeah, Michelle is there. Okay, mm -hmm. finally. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I got to catch you at the last minute. I, I gotta, you gotta answer door my... about to close now. The door about to close. <laughs> how, how are y'all all doing? All right. Well, all right. Well, and everyone staying safe. Um, a couple quick questions. Uh, so I'm a little, I'm a little worried. I don't know if it's true, but um, I'm just hearing from a source that um, people who are vaccinated are are shedding, um, and they are shedding um, to the unvaccinated people, causing them to infertility. Uh, Infertility, infer, infertility, infertility, and um, you know, mm. late periods. Um, is, is, I don't know if it's true or not, and you know, I don't want to make you know. Yeah, you got to be careful with that. Yeah, because there's no, there's no truth on that. You got to be careful. Be careful with data like that, because when you hear things and fear mongering going on, I would be very, very cautious with that because. We got enough already going on. <laughs> we, got enough. we got enough to worry about. And then, you know, worrying about whether you should now start avoiding people who had the vaccine, that's going to be a whole other mix, you know? Yes, so yes. I would say, you know, what true, what usually happens, this is what usually happens. And this is why they're, they're having a problem with the media right now. It's really the alternative media sources that are crushing right now. 
because people have lost faith in what they see on TV. Mm-hmm. It seems to Amen. Uh, Amen. directed to contrived to everything. When they bring out the big dogs that I bring, they brought out the big dogs about two weeks ago when they had the big O on and Michelle yes. and yes. everybody. People really regressed even more. I believe people even backed up even more because it looked too press. When yes. people tend to press, people get nervous. That's what people say. Well, wait a minute. Why do they want me to take this so much? That's yes. what tends to be, you know, really, you know, contrived. It looks very much planned. And that's why people start to back up. And in anything, you know, if you if you like me, and you grew up around the way. <laughs> when somebody push anything on you, be like, well, wait, 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 what I need this for? You know, you always your first reaction is like, wait a minute, I feel like I'm being hostile here. Yes, yes. You know, and that's why I believe that the marketing on this thing was directed. You know, I said that a long time ago. Y'all remember when we first started this? I said, Mm -hmm. "Ah, I don't like the marketing on this. The marketing coming in and the way they're pushing it, people are going to eventually back up and say, I don't want to do this. Mm -mm, I, I don't think so. Not me. And that's what I believe that you're seeing. So, be careful, Michelle, uh, with that. You're going to see it come out on social media streams anyway. You know, you're going to see people talk about it. See, that's the one thing that the most powerful thing that you have right now is social media. And things will spread faster than you could ever knew. See, remember, there used to be a time that uh, you needed big industry in order to find out news. You remember that, y'all? You had to turn on the TV, you turn on the radio, whatever, or else you never got the information, right? Yep. I used to be in the music industry, and I'm still in this kind of like, you know, my son is pulling me back into this thing. He's keep calling me, pulling me back into this thing. So I'm a music publisher. I've been a music publisher since I was 19 years old. I was signed to Columbia Records when I was about 19 years old, producing, recording artists and all that stuff. And they taught me one of the most important things. This is what the labels always, when they sign a new artist, you know what they would say? They say, we have the right to take all your publishing and give you just writer's credit. And I said, well, how do you have the right to take so much money? You know what their thing was? We have the ability to put you everywhere around the world and you don't have that capability. So that's why we take our money and we take that portion. So they had the right to do that. Right. But now fast forward 2021, you got young people who have the ability to make themselves public around the world yes in a matter of a click in the button they can say boom and you got some of these young children are making somewhere in the neighborhood of four hundred five hundred thousand dollars a month on youtube that's amazing and then people are chiming in they got billions of subscribers and then that's moving this thing that's moving and that's why when all they got to do is say don't mess with that (laughs) And next thing you know, everything shut down. People are like, yeah, man, you hear what so and so said? Don't take that, man. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do that. Or go this way. That's why the Kardashians and them, everything they do, as soon as they say one thing or they have a product in their hand, that product is going to go, they're going to make millions of dollars just by them saying, oh, I use this thing right here. And they're going to say, well, what's she using? Then everybody jumps on it. You got it? So understand social media and how this thing is working. It's a different ball game now. So when mainstream now comes on and they start saying, well, you know, we can tell us, trust us, we got this. Then you step off one and you go into your laptop, your phone, your iPad. And then they like, yo, man, that ain't true. And, you know, you see what I'm saying? So now people have something to bounce off. Yes. And that alternative media source is really what's 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 the most powerful thing right now that's happening there so just go. keep that that's in exactly mind right. all right okay, thank exactly you. right that's exactly all right. right all right all right oh miss lydia come on miss lydia all right lydia what you got <laughs> what's going on what's happening <laughs> y- y'all trying to take me to nine o'clock again go ahead <laughs> <laughs> We can't hear you, Lydia. You, you Lydia, gotta... man, you know you're supposed to turn your mic on. Come on now. Turn your mic on. 
I can't hear you. We can't hear you. Miss Lydia. Okay, here we go. There you go. There you go. I said a uh, shout out to the family, Bill and you, Dr. Paul, but shout out to a special uh, classmate, Yolanda Nicholson. We're going to do something about that fat freezing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hook your yeah, sister up. Hook so your bad. sister up. Y'all so bad. Um, I want to say something. Uh, Dr. Paul, exactly one of your, uh, one of the family members was talking about, you know, uh, everybody's always asking you, have you got the shot? Have you got the shot? And I, I started looking. I said, wait a minute, this is really personal. It's like you have to belong to the special club. And I, I think that they're doing a case, case-wide study in all these countries. Um, and I was going through a drive through in Burger King, and the young lady... I was getting, getting ready to pay for my food. She said, did you get your shot? And I got the face. I said, why? What did it have to do with it? She said, because I heard mine. It's her business. But, but, right. but, but I think, and when I realized that she was a young girl, she said, because I just had mine, and my arm feels like it's about to fall off. I'm saying, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And that's what she said. There was a young girl. I, that's why I I like too. Oh, it's like everyone is pressuring you to get it. Like, I don't, I'm not, I, I personally don't want to take it. Well, remember what I just said. Remember right. what I just said. Okay. Like remember <laughs> when, when you hear that, when you hear all that pressure, realize where it's coming from. You got right. it? It's probably mainstream media. Yes. You got me. It's mainstream media, but that's what they that's their whole concept of what they're doing. You know, mainstream media is going to push it. That's what they that's their job. That's what they're doing. And then anyone that's connected to mainstream media will promote it. And if mm -hmm. they don't promote it, then they're going to probably not be in that position anymore. That's right. So that's why that's why. So just understand whenever you hear this, you have to now start to understand where the motives are coming from that that particular source. You know, you're going to say, all right, well, what's what do they have to get out of this? You know, and usually it, it comes back to it. You need to have that's why alternative media sources don't have anything to lose. You got it. They don't have anything. They're going to bring you what you know, what's not being drawn out. Like, you know how we always talk about, you know, when Bill reads off the people that have survived, <laughs> you know, why are you not hearing the people that have survived? Yeah, you know, exactly. the people that have beat this, there's people on this, this channel right now on this zoom channel that have been, you know, maybe verified and had COVID, you know, 19, right? Mm -hmm. But guess what? They beat it. So I celebrate you because I say, hey, you beat it. And you did something that a hundred and hundred, what, three million people did yes. not do. That's right. You made it out of, and that means you're part of that hundred and what was it? 30 million now? Yes. 130 uh -huh. yep. million people yep. in the world that's doing well. You need to be celebrated. You need to be the one that continues to do what you're doing help and teach somebody else how you did it. You become a, you become a walking testimony now. There you go. Mm -hmm. You don't even know how powerful you really are. That's exactly somebody right. Somebody start talking crap, they say, look, I had it. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing more powerful than you saying, I had it, no, I ain't got it. Now you say, wow, what did you do? That should be the next thing to come out of the person's mouth. And what did you do? And there's your testimony right there. That's the testimony right there. Yes, what a yes, hook. Exactly right. What a hook. So that's like why that. I say let those 130 million people. 33 million. What are y'all doing? That's what a real study needs to be done. How are we not studying the 130 million people that actually got through this thing? What did y'all do and compare yes. them to everybody else? Wait a minute. What was y'all doing? Oh, I started exercising. Oh, I took some herbs. I got this. See, it pulls your focus. There you go. That's pulls right. your focus back to where it needs to be, which is focusing on holistically, you know, spirit, mind, body, getting your mind right. I got in here, got into prayer. First mm -hmm. thing I did when I started, I found out I had it. I went into prayer because it was scaring right. me to death. You I got me? Right. Yes, then I started working out my game plan. Then I started saying, I got to eat right. I started getting my water right. You got me? Mm -hmm. See how things start to happen?
Yes. Yeah. So so sometimes things that come into your life as maybe obstacles may be the best thing that ever happened to you. I'm gonna tell you, when you right. got people yes, sir. that said that they had COVID, they come out and said, Man, I'm in the best shape I have in my life. I know that's right, right. now. Yes, sir. You got yes, it? sir. So yes, sir. keep that in mind. Lydia, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. The other thing we're talking about is the money, uh, because we're getting calls now. If you have a timeshare, they're trying to get you to come down for this holiday. And I, they said, we noticed that you didn't use your thing last year. I said, well, where were you in the country? I said, no, I wasn't coming down. So they said, well, it's not like that now. The governors between New Jersey and uh, Pennsylvania, you know, they know things are better now. So you come down, we clean the rooms, and then we have a special machine that goes in there, and then we seal it off. Before you come in, so <laughs> I'm to you. Well, I'll My call Lord. you back. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's really. <laughs> I said it's... a special machine, so I want to know about the special machine. Yeah, I would think you know, um, you know, people are doing things different, de desperate times. Mm -hmm. You know, require mm -hmm. desperate measures. You know, people are trying to get their, you know, get their money right. They're trying to get their. It's affecting everybody, y'all. So they got to come up with creative ways to stay in business, and that's mm -hmm. what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like I said, you know, one of the things that we're not looking at right now, you know, if this India thing comes through and it starts to come in and come strong, like like i'm telling you they're not they're not preparing for this they're not and that's what's the concern america's not preparing for you know this thing when it's going like wild and crazy like that over in india that's coming this way you absolutely know it's coming this way what are we doing in preparing it we're opening up <laughs> oh my gosh what is that's going exactly on right. y'all that's exactly right guys <clears throat> you know so exactly right so really, Lydia, I would say, you know, whatever it is, people are going to be creative. You got to stay focused, stay focused what? to what you know. You know, folks, if it's anything, go back to your game plan from what we originally talked about here. You got your arsenal stuff. Maybe I need to go over that Build in the next couple musician. weeks. Build Just go game. over your arsenal, you know, start to read and look at your notes, start yes, to do the things right. that you have to do. By now, you should know what works for you that's and right. what does not work for you. Mm -hmm. You know, and, so that's where we, we got to be on point. And go back to the chat notes that we send out every week. Make sure yeah. and go over that yeah. stuff. Or you can there. go back to the old shows, too. That's exactly you Go right. back to, you know, Dr. Paul's Holistic Health Network, which yes. is on Facebook. And you we posted all the shows from the very yes. beginning yes. of all of the uh, family tree and also WRD, whether yes. 900 a.m. on the Dr. Paul Holistic Health Show, which is on Saturday morning or Sunday, which is the green hour. Okay. Mm -hmm. Family, we got to go. Yo, we the got, time to gone, go. got to go. Got to go. Got to go. kept a brother around to nine o'clock. <laughs> y'all think y'all slick, ain't y'all? Yeah, y'all yeah, is yeah. this? Uh -huh. I'm looking yeah. at my clock, man. I'm like, wait a minute, Bill. <laughs> Bill then did like this to his finger, about to fall off right now. <laughs> hey, I thank want to say Bill. thank you so much. Right. It's been a pleasure. But Bill, uh, close us out, Big B. Yes, guys. Of course, as always, I want to remind you that you can get copies of tonight's uh, check by sending us sending a, a note to me at mechavideo at gmail.com. That's mechavideo at gmail.com. And, of course, we want to always just continue to, to thank you for the support you, that you continue to share at, uh, at For the Family Tree at Dr. Paul. That's drpaulhop.com. Oh, not .com. Here I go again. Dr. Paul, get me on, get me on the, that's, that's Dr. Paul Hop, okay? And it's, it's in the chat, guys. I've already put it in the chat. So that, you, know, you make sure that you, you send that information out. And uh, guess what? We'll just keep it coming, okay, each and every week, because it is important that you bring somebody and share this information each and every week. There Again, you go. There Paul you Stein, go. Capital D R capital P A U R capital H O P. Doctor Paul Hop, guys, help the family stay well, and we'll be able to be here each and every week. All right, family, it's time to shut it down. Oh. And I want to thank you all for tuning in to the family tree. And I pray that everyone is going to be doing well and improved. I can only say one thing with all the information that's gone forth tonight. Yes, I pray yes, that yes. you take this information and you use this information, but most yes, importantly, yes, share yes. it with the ones you love. All right. Make sure you don't hold on to this, right? Because, you know, we try to keep this family tree moving. Yes, and we yes, want it yes. to go on and you want you to everyone on that's listening invite somebody back next week 
and we gather around the tree because this is where your social security really starts. That's right. And with that, um, yes, we have the free will offering. If you want to sow into this, it's up to you. We never want to force it, but we always say that the monies go back into the production for the post-production, which actually Big B over there. Let's get Big B a hand. Hey, hey, Big B. Right, guys. Right, guys. Big B right, puts guys. all of this stuff in order for me. He puts this stuff in order. He puts it on all of the social media. And he puts it in the places where we can really appreciate this. Yes, yes, yes. So, lastly, I want to thank Big V for everything that you do, brother. Yes. All the time, always spot on it. Yes. But mostly importantly, I want to thank you for showing up tonight, y'all. Yes, yes, all right, let's yes, dance it right. on out. Yay! Raise your hands in the air. Wave yes, them like you just don't care. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So, I want to thank you all. And remember, be encouraged. And if you're breathing, yeah, you got a shot. There you go. All right. All right. Go ahead, y'all. Shake it there. Come on. You got to shake something. There you go. Can we see somebody in here? Who's in here shaking it? All right, Karim. I see you, bro. I see you. Hey, Patricia. Hey. Look at Big B over there. Hey, yeah. Big B, I know. You. Hey, y'all, you look at the right corner of Big B's thing. You look at him. He said, Look at that. Look at my good side. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> 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 All right. All right, Margaret, I see you. Denzel, you got home, man, buddy. Is that your doggy man? Denzel, let me see the doggy man. What's your doggy name, man? All right. Hey. Come on, doggy, get it on, yeah. <laughs> All right, Dorma, I see you. All right. Thank you all so much, Yolanda, Lydia. All right, yeah. Michelle, I see you down there. Yeah. All right, all right. Helen, thank you, Helen. As always. Thank you. Thank you, All right, thank you so much for y'all for tuning in. Always a pleasure. Kamara, thank you. Appreciate you. We're probably the skull. The problem is leave out of yeah, she, here. Yeah, she had, she had another meeting, Dr. She, she had another go. meeting. Yes. Yeah, her fingers. She got to be on the spot with somebody That's else's right. fingers. That's she, right. She's working, That's on, right. On, working on that. Happy fingers. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you. Uh, Remember, if you can't dance to this, you you better check your pulse there. Come on. Wow. <laughs> well, I see you, Cynthia. Go ahead, Cynthia. You had to cut a camera back on. See that? She had to cut a camera back on. See that, man? I'm on jam with y'all. <laughs> Go ahead, Dolly. I see y'all. I see y'all over there. Dolly and Cynthia. I see y'all. Bro, what is that, Carlene Jones? Is that Carlene Jones? Is that bro over there? He kicking it over there. I see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Read out, read out, read out. All right. Uh huh. Okay, family. Y'all have a blessed one. We shall see you next week on the Family Tree. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just know how to dance, I know that much. Y'all ain't never did so much dancing in your chairs before, have you? Yes, yes, yes. Now somebody gonna walk in next to y'all and say, what you doing on there? <laughs> I ain't I got what you doing in secrets. this room? I gotta keep some secrets. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, see y'all. Right, God bless. Bless y'all. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. All right, we'll see y'all soon. All right, all right.